Hello, everybody. Hope you're having a great, great day today uh, on this Thursday. Hope you're taking a, a nice little break from the busyness, uh, having maybe a good lunch, a sandwich, or maybe just getting a breath for a few moments. But whatever it is, I hope you're having a good day. Hey, today's going to be a little bit different. I'm going to be very honest with you as I come before you. Uh, my, my heart, honestly, is a little bit heavy. And, and it's heavy because of the events that are going on in our nation right now, especially those things that are going up in uh, Minneapolis, hope I said that right, uh, in Minnesota. And, uh, you know, even though I have shut the news off, and that is honestly true, I do not watch, I sit around and watch the news like I normally did. I am on Facebook and I do see everybody's uh, streams and they're, you know, the ones that I'm friends with and I'm seeing these events that are coming up on the live, uh, you know, on the Facebook stream. And, and my heart today, honestly, I've been in the presence of God. I've been rejoicing. I've been having a great day. But I'm telling you, my heart just got heavy as I begin to see all of the things that are going on uh, in our land today. You know, not only are we still dealing with the pandemic and we're trying to get back some nor normalcy, now we're having to deal with this. And, and it's real and it's in front of us. And you know what? Whether we like it, dislike it, it's impacting every one of us. The Bible tells us in the book of Isaiah, he said, Arise and shine, for your light has come, and the glory of the Lord Lord is risen upon us and he said a darkness will cover the earth and a gross darkness is going to cover the people I want to tell you something friend if the Bible is unfolding it's unfolding before us right now I believe the events of the day if there could be anything uh, brought to make sense of it it lets us know that darkness has filled men's lives matter of fact it said a darkness would be on the earth and a gross darkness on the people you know, we saw the horrific uh, thing that should have never happened in, in the death of Mr. George Floyd at the, at the knee of a police officer. I don't care if he's black, white, yellow, red, that should never, ever happen to anyone in such a way as that happened. I'm sorry for that family. I'm sorry for the culture. I I'm sorry for all of us that we have come to that spot, uh, that value of that the value of life has become so diminished. I, I know today that there is a lot of turmoil going on in, in the cities that honestly I do not understand. I, I'm sorry, I don't understand a lot about what a lot of our people go through from time to time. And I hope that I never have to walk through where some of them do. But nonetheless, what do we do and how do we answer? You know, today I can only come back and bring you back to the Bible. And I want us as a people to realize if there ever was a time for the church to stand up and truly be the church, I'm not talking about being uh, our, our denomination. I'm not talking about being Pentecostal, Baptist, Methodist, Lutheran, whatever. I'm talking about being the people of God. People that carry the life and the nature and the love of Christ to the world. If there ever was a time, it's time for you and I to rise up. Now, that doesn't mean I have to get on Facebook and I have to start making all my, putting all my opinions out, nor does it mean I have to hit the street and begin to protest and riot. But it does mean that I believe that I've got to take a good look at my own heart and my own values and realize that the love of Jesus goes beyond me and that he values every one of us. I believe it's so important that you and I rise up in this moment and that we do give everybody a sense of love and a sense of value. I don't even know if that's the right word, but we love them and let them know that God loves them and that there is a great purpose for their life. I believe it's time we, the church, ought to be praying. God, bring peace to our land and may you be revealed as we have never ever seen you before. We need to be praying for these families. We need to be praying for the people of, of Minnesota right now, that God would touch them and that in the midst of the chaos, somehow the love and the life of God would be revealed. 
listen, friend, we're in this together. God loves us all. He died for all of us. Let's make sure that we're giving value to everyone.